Hey guys, welcome. Today we are in Bakong Beach together with Jel and Che. So today we are going to answer a question from my previous videos, like a common question that we usually get from the viewers. Jel and Che, are you ready? Yes, yes ready. Ready. Ready? <laughs> ready. <laughs> All right, so let's start. So why Filipina use filters on social media? Do you use filters on social media? Yeah, sometimes, you know, because I have a like insecurity in my skin, my dark skin. So that's why I feel I put a filter on my social media. But, you know, but this is my real. <laughs> Yeah, you can have a filter yeah, on the camera. Have, yeah, this, <laughs> that's your real face. Yeah. All right. So you use filter yeah, just to tone your skin like, because you want it to be lighter yeah. on, on pictures, like on social media, like for example, on your TikTok videos and mm -hmm. for Facebook, for yeah. Facebook as well. Mm, on my TikTok only. Yeah, only. Okay. Yeah, because guys, you have to be aware. Sometimes <laughs> Filipina use too much filters, and they will use that as their profile on their I don't know maybe dating site or on Facebook. So make sure that you meet the Filipina in person <laughs> or do video call. I don't think you can use filters on video call. Yeah, sometimes I, I will use that on my Facebook Messenger. So uh, yeah, I used that before a long time ago. Like a long time ago, but yeah. now you accept your through call. I just actually accept this because. My my boyfriend doesn't want me to use a filter anymore. <laughs> yeah, be Just being real, Jill. <laughs> be real. Be real. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, do you think generally Filipina use filters? Yeah, most of the Filipinas use filters. Like 80% Filipina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, how about <laughs> What about you, Che? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah, sometimes. <laughs> on TikTok especially. Uh, right? on TikTok, yes. Yeah. Yes, because Mm, I'm not confident. Negative comments there. Yeah. yeah. Especially here in the Philippines that uh, if you're too dark, it's just you're not into the Philippine standards if you're dark, if you have darker skin. So that's why yeah. we, most Filipina use filters just to lighter their skin. Filters is really good, especially on TikTok. It's so realistic, but <laughs> the expectation versus reality. <laughs> but when you meet them in person, that happens. That yeah. happens. I think that's one of my subscribers who he leave a very long comment on my channel. He said, you know, he fall in love with this Filipina. He met online, and then suddenly when they met in person, she he was sh he shocked. <laughs> yes, it happens even to Gary. Like he uh. met a Filipina, have no teeth. So it's very yeah. important to do video call before you meet them in person oh, yeah. because yeah, uh, it can be real. You're gonna be victim when you <laughs> meet in your, you know, Filipina when you. <laughs> Filipina will trick you. <laughs> All right, that was very funny. But yeah, a lot of Filipina do use filters, especially on TikTok. Like they're doing uh, TikTok videos, they usually use something to mm. you know enhance their beauty. So this comment is actually uh, related to the last one we yeah. answer. Why Filipina use whitening products to their skin? I love Morena skin. Do you use, let's start with gel. Do you use whitening product yes, right now? Yes, I do. Until now, I use a whitening soap. Even my boyfriend doesn't want me to use it. But yeah, I do. Because, you know, I, I feel like I have confidence when I use that, uh, when I have a skin, light skin. Do you really do it because you want to be confident or you're scared to be judged because you have darker skin? I'm scared skin? to be judged people like in my province, in my hometown. So every time that they see me because I love to swim and I love, you know, to travel with my boyfriend. So so, of course, it's I'm getting dark now than before because uh, I'm always swimming. Generally, Filipina use whitening product because it's really hard to find a lotion or soap that is not whitening here in the Philippines. Like, I don't know why. Like, I want to keep my skin dark. Like, I don't want to get whitening. And I, I spend so much time trying to find a product that is not whitening because everything is so it's whitening every time we go to the store you know you can sew the whitening soap at the store yeah it's everywhere what about you Che do you use whitening products before I have you tried yes but now I realize that 
I'm, conf I'm confident that my Morena skin. I yeah. love my skin. <laughs> Maybe you give up like me. Yeah, I tried before using whitening products. Like, why? I never get lighter. I just give up. I'll give just up. accept my skin. That's that's my mindset before. I tried to when I think when I was in Manila, like I was before I met Gary. But after I met Gary, I totally changed my whole mindset about getting lighter skin because he helped me to boost my confidence it's oh. a good thing being with a foreigner because they appreciate our uh, real beauty of a Filipina you know darker skin so when it comes to Philippine Filipino standards whiter Filipina is more attractive to them you know I like what about you do you feel invisible when it comes to Filipino because of your skin yes yes what about you yeah before i have you know when I, when i'm in school I, there's a lot of uh bully? bully because of my dark skin how old are you when you learn how to cook i think this question is for me but we can answer it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. all right let's start with chair how old are you when you learn how to cook and do the house chores like 13 or 12 like yeah. You learn how yes. to do that. Did but your mom teach you? Yes, like simple, like rice and vegetables. Adobo. Adobo. Yeah, mm -hmm. chicken adobo. Yeah. What about you? Yeah, in my age, uh, nine maybe or eight, like that. When you learn uh, how to. Yeah, cook? because you know I'm the second uh, in my siblings, mm -hmm. so I need to practice how to cook because I have a lot of siblings, like we have nine and uh, we have eight. Wow! Yeah, so I need to learn how to cook in my young age, like I'm eight, like yeah. that before. So you're the one who took care of your youngest mm, siblings? Youngest si siblings, like yeah. that. And do the house chores as well? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I learned how to cook at seven, believe it or not. I've always wanted to learn how to cook. Like I always stay in the kitchen and watch my mom how to cook. So I really started you know just a simple stuff now like a chef cook you mm -hmm. know just a simple like rice mm -hmm. at seven like a ble bless age how to boil water mm -hmm. yes yes yeah so anyway at really young age i learned how to cook in most parents here in the philippines they teach their children at young age to how cook, to cook yeah. and do the house chores because they think that's one thing that we can bring to the table that we can do to our husband we can offer to our husband to yeah. cook and they said like you know what you, you need to learn now you have to learn now when you are uh, you know young because when you're getting bigger like your age like 18 or when you have a family and you just apply that to your husbands or in the future yeah that's actually that's true like uh, that's why you know people believe that Filipina make good wives it is mm -hmm. because we learn that from our parents and our mm -hmm. household our parents teach us how to be a good wife all right so next question is that true that Philippine people eat dog yes <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes because my father you know in my uh, in my hometown every time that like you know once a year i saw them they kill the dog then you know just cook it but i never eat but i eat age snake snake <laughs> yeah why not dog because i don't like it you know every time that <laughs> i feel like they have a rabbit on it i know you eat dog uh, no way hot dog. Ah, hot dog yes i do it <laughs> <laughs> no way. <laughs> in my young age, I didn't eat hot dog before because I I think hot dog it's a made dog. Of, it's yeah. a it's a made of dogs because it's hot and dog. So <laughs> in my thought like I don't like that, you know. That's what I thought. Yeah. That was in my thing before. So definitely in the province they do cook a dog because I have seen my neighbor once that they cook the dog like a like you know like a lechon pig yeah. I've seen it yeah but I haven't tried I only tried um, frog snake also mm -hmm. I tried that what about you chair have you tried um, eating dogs I almost did <laughs> <laughs> I almost did you almost did yeah, why because my dad told me that it's a chicken but I saw the meat like like red like i don't it's like different. Yeah, it's different of ch chicken meat like so, so in your province yeah, you've seen prim people eating dogs yes in the province how often like a lot of like a lot of people there in the province yeah wow 
I don't know if it's legal or illegal, but definitely just in the province because I never seen um, uh, people in the city eating dogs and um, like we feel the same way knowing that other people also you know that other people eating guinea pigs mm. can you imagine <laughs> people yeah, eating also. guinea pigs rabbit yeah, yeah. other country rabbit. i'm shocked when i found out my filipina used to give all her salary to her family is it cultural is it cultural for a filipina to give all her salary to their family especially before they make their own family yeah maybe that's our cultural because you know in my young age so I start yeah, working like when I'm 12 then I was in the Mindanao before mm -hmm. in my young uh, my age of 12 so then every time when I have I get salary from my boss I just send it to my mom because I have my free food there so yeah like I start my salary before 1,000 pesos I give it all to them really yeah all of it yeah all of it what about for your like needs like you know like like snacks if you feel like you want to buy snacks i'm just lucky because my boss before they give everything what i need like wow. you know my pads in you know napkin i what do you call it uh, you know everything 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 okay. my needs i'll so. be give it to me so, so. You, you did it for how long in my like 15 years 15, yeah, years? 15 years I'll just give it to them like wow yeah because we have a lot of siblings I have then I'm the one to support it a big uh, what do you call it big sister big sister and a big winner a, what the big breadwinner. breadwinner for my family so mm -hmm. I'm the one to help them because you know, I feel like sad to my mother that every time that they don't have it because they are very poor yeah yeah so I just mm -hmm. give it them why you stop uh, giving them support when I have started a family like I have family my own family what was their reaction like uh, did they get I'm just compro uh, confronting them like uh, I'm sorry if, if I'm just supporting you but that's not much like before mm -hmm. different like if I have extra I give it to you but now for for now it's I have my priority is my daughter mm -hmm. so that's why I just stop sometimes I give them if I have extra but it started I have my daughter my family so I just stopped I didn't they are very supportive me yes what about you Che um, like you don't have family yet you don't have yes. kids so uh, like you're working right now and do you give all your salary to your family yes I do all of it um, sometimes I didn't because I need to buy something for myself of course yeah. mm -hmm. so sometimes if I don't give everything to my family with my salary yeah my mom reaction like disappointed you know it's like yeah. and my sister also also my sister it's like yeah. a disappointed oh you know etc like that it's almost like it's your responsibility to give all your salary to yes them. yeah it's actually really sad like it's yeah. okay to help but not expected like you know do not expect I don't think it's right for your parents to say, oh, now that you have work, it's time for you to support us back. Yes. Like, you know, utang na loob. Uh, yeah, utang, utang na loob. loob. Some people like that also because I have my neighbor also like that because they count like, you know, I just give you life. I just give you, I just put you at school before. So, you know, you need to support me back when you get older like if, if you do not start in your family like they are like counting yeah counting. yeah my mother like that yeah so no <laughs> i what do you call that so i hear that i heard that your story also mm -hmm. like my neighbors like you know you need to support me back because yeah it's uh, it's sad that's it's sad. sad that's sad for me and i uh, you know i have seen i've heard a lot of stories about filipina go abroad and they wanna have their own family but they feel guilty of uh, telling her family mm -hmm. that she wanted to stop supporting because she wants <clears throat> to make her own family because mm -hmm. i she knows for sure that her family will get disappointed you know it's really sad that there there's a lot of Filipina who want to, you know, start having their own family. And sometimes they will get old, like they will yeah, reach yeah. 40s and they still have no children abroad, mm -hmm. living abroad and no savings, nothing. And I think that's one of the reasons why Philippine, you know, there's a lot of poverty because it's like the cycle, you know. So 
like a lot of Filipina work abroad to support the family back here and then when the time they created their own children because they have no savings they will end up sending their kids also to go abroad mm -hmm. and yes. then it's like a cycle oh yeah yeah so that's why you never get improved sometimes mm -hmm. Philippines don't get improved because of that cycle and sometimes they, they talk to their children I oh, don't uh, get started to your family because when you are a finished to school you have to go abroad and help us you know yeah. what like uh, it's your children you know it's your kids the Responsibil uh, responsibility yeah, yeah responsibility yeah in yeah it should be the parents responsibility to send their kids to school yeah. and to for their kids to have good life when they started having their family mm -hmm. you know another mindset of Filipino they will make a lot of kids because they think the more kids they have the more chance that they will Help get out them. the poverty yeah. Yeah, because yeah. the more kids mm -hmm. that will go work in the city and then sending them money but actually yeah. that's the worst thing you can do if you want to really improve your lifestyle if you want to to be successful and have more money that's the big mistake you can do have more children that you cannot afford because mm -hmm. your children will end up now finishing school because you cannot afford it and it's just getting worse it's just a cycle so mm -hmm. yeah that that's the mindset uh, you know that they have that I f I think it is very toxic kind of mindset yeah. but anyway yeah it is cultural because they have this called utang na loob mm -hmm. If you ask us if it is cultural, so yeah, the answer to that is yes. All right, folks, so this is the last question. Do Filipina find American, black American attractive? What, like, in short, what do we feel about black American? Do Filipina date black American? The answer to that is yes, because I have two sisters that are committed yeah. to black American. What about you? How would you feel if uh, a black American want to court you? Like, yeah. Would you consider dating a black American man? Yes, when I'm single, yeah. 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 Do you think they are handsome? Yeah, maybe there's not about the color or the skin or the skin, you know, about the colors. It's not about that. It's mm -hmm. about how you are a genuine love. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, for me it's not about the color. I heard that foreigners, black American are also attractive to Filipina that is lighter. They're not into us like dark with darker skin. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section, but that's what I heard. Mm -hmm. They also prefer Filipina that is lighter skin because my two sisters that are in relationship with a black American mm -hmm. they are they have lighter skin I am the only uh, one in my siblings that is dark all right what about you Che do you find black American attractive yes there's not enough black American here huh it's not much it's not much there's yeah. a lot of white yeah. uh, you know more on white more on white people. maybe in Manila Maybe, yeah, I think so in Manila. I've seen when I was there, there's mm. more black in Manila. But you know what? I don't want to call it black, white. Like, I've seen people just equal, like, you know, human like us, like we Filipinas. It should be like that. It's just even. We're human. Mm. <laughs> no, I don't know why people have to name it black. Like, people think that uh, we only pick the white one. Mm. That's not true. Filipinas, they, the you know any colors that is genuine have a mm. good heart have inten good intention they would yeah, that's very you know. important that you have a good heart you know yeah so it's not about the color guys <laughs> all right so come over here <laughs> and you will see i'm excited to get in the water but anyway thank you guys for watching until the end and thank you for joining us in this topic Thank you, mm. Jill and Che. Thank you for joining me in this conversation. I really had fun. Yeah. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye for now. Bye.